Right, so, uh, this week I thought I'd show you around a bit of uh, umbilical work. Um, not on that yet, the the boss lady herself hasn't arrived yet, she's, she's had milking and bits to do this morning, so I've got up down here a bit sharpish and uh, I've just uh, put the stir on and just given it, it a bit of a, a bit of a stir up. So... Yeah, get this stirred up and see if we find things to keep you busy for a couple of minutes while uh, waiting for her to arrive. And then we've got the ramps to set up on the road over there. And uh, yeah, it's onto that maze ground. This isn't a full-on empty job. This is just uh, drop it to keep him keep him good until he can get onto the uh, onto his grassland and get it all spread. So yeah, there's a bit of an introduction to what's going to happen. I shall try my best to sort of show you what I'm doing as I'm going along and explain the process of it. It's not that interesting a job, but yeah, we'll see how we go. See if we can get a bit of a bit of everything shot. Yeah. So yeah, tonight I'm going to smell funny. Right, so we've got the ramp set up. Hands are getting dirty already. You can see the pump's going to be set up over there. Pipe comes through, through all this lot, which all breaks down into kit form. And then we'll get off down there somewhere. So, so I've just slotted the pipe in the channel. So now I'm going to go get our pump set up. Right, so. But had a breath, just got it all set up. Oh, I need to move my rope across. But yeah, we start at the back. Keep tight hold of my phone. There's our suction pipe. Um, I think it's eight inch suction pipe. Comes into the pump here. We've got a chopper unit about here. No, chopper, that's your filling vessel with your pro with a vacuum operated primer to prime it to get it going for the hopefully just the first time chopper unit here an impeller here it's basically like a giant half of a turbo then through here got a gate valve there to shut it off and then we come through here we're now onto the outlet side onto four inch lay flat um, this when we're pumping runs at about 10 to 12 bar this pipe which to put that in perspective that is sort of similar pressure to a wagon tire a truck tire so yeah <laughs> not not nice when they go bang luckily they don't very often so then we come to here which is our meter uh we measure this the here will be our running rate measured in meters cubed an hour we usually run that at about 100 100 120 cubic meters an hour and then down here the little one is our job total and we come here to a t-piece which when we come to blow out we'll shut the air, the big gate valve on the back of the pump connect an airline through that compressor and blow all the poo that way and then that's our outlet pipe which will run down to the tractor down there, which has a splash plate on the back. Right, so uh, things didn't quite go according to plan. Um, if you don't know if you noticed when we were showing you the back of the pump, that pipe, hang on, where's my finger? There, it had a repair on it, they put a new end on it, unfortunately. Um, it wasn't quite as air and watertight as we hoped, hence the reason it's got a repair on it. Yeah, that's hampers because obviously because it would suck air, it wouldn't prime up. 
when it did get going, it decorated things. So, yeah, unfortunately, instead of getting going sort of mid-morning, it was quarter to 12 by the time we got going. Um, so, yeah, a bit of a bomb. Um, obviously, because we were messing around trying to get things sorted, uh, as I've always said, um, this whole recording thing is a hobby. What I'm doing, actually, physically doing here, is my work. Uh, it's what pays my bills, so that that has to come first. So yeah, all fun and games. We've been going. Uh, we've been going about an hour now. Uh, ooh, we, can, we can get a good view of uh, the uh, splash plate in operation. You can see exactly how, how the how it turn around. There is, a, there is a bit of an art to uh, being on that splash plate. Um, basically, when you come to the end of the row, it, end of your run, it's like having a big bungee cord behind you. If you just stop and whack it into neutral, it will try and pull you back down the field again. And also, when you come to turn, you've got to make sure when you actually come to do your loop, you've got to have slack in your pipe, otherwise it'll try and pull the splash plate off the back of the tractor which again is never very helpful so that is the 6195m that i was um had on the stirrer this morning the stirrer is now parked up there so I'm just going to show you what we're doing in terms of uh oh what's the same like i said we've been going an hour uh meter there showing Done 21,500 gallons, and we're running at a rate of it's quite fluctuating because the muck's not very well mixed. We were running, running sort of around 130 cubic meters per hour. So, oh, yeah, and now my day is here now. Uh, and well I would say until we finish the job because I think we can do the whole block here without having to stop and turn the pump off or move pipes so my whole job now literally is staring at what you're staring on so tablets with me so I've got something to watch on YouTube um, stereo a bit of the cracking and band answer with the With the splash plate attendant and that's pretty much it for the next well at least five hours we're running shout when you want it off Ah. Right, I'll get running. <laughs> right, so what are we? Three, twenty past three in the afternoon now. Uh, yeah, like it. I, I was trying to show you. Lemster, Woo, disco! Right, I think it looks better. Yeah, so I was trying to show you sort of getting the pump running and seeing the pipe inflated, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh. It is what it is sometimes, especially when you get the camera out, it just doesn't seem to want to. Plenty of poo birds about. So, yeah, we're cracking through it now. Um, I don't know whether you can. Oh, don't need to be that close. Ugh. 
you can see we dropped, say, like I said, this is a big lagoon. Um, we dropped it about a foot now, so. Yeah. Just, uh, I don't know how much more we're gonna, we're gonna do. Like I said, this is just a, um, get him out of the danger zone so he can uh, keep capacity so he can put it where he wants it when he wants it so yes car going over the ramps over there Whee. not had anybody using it as a launch ramp this 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 day which is quite good yeah you see some of the people go over that ramp and you swear they only hit half of it. So, yeah, we'll uh, probably don't know whether. Well, I don't know where to call this video the end, really. We call it end when we're all packed up. Do we call it end? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to make something here. I'm just, yeah. I'll say, I mean, videos this time of year are a bit tricky because there's. There's not really that much going on. There's only so many times that I can uh, show you me hedge coin, which to be fair, end of this month, that'll be it for that. So I've got somebody trying to call me who is just a decent caller, so I might answer it.